Gentlemen, Rand here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Glen Isla. And you folks, you know, there's watching paint dry, which is, you know, dreadfully exciting. But then you, then there's watching poplars get planted, which, uh, you know, I, I, given your choice between watching paint dry and poplars get planted, I mean, oh boy. Anyway, uh, working on planting poplars here, at least the hired worker is anyway. I have had no part of that at all other than hiring the worker. Uh, yes, uh, there's no way Randy is planting poplars uh, one row at a time by himself with that planter. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, uh, field late here is almost planted. He's, what, maybe halfway done. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm going across it with a second pass here so you can see it almost plants the entire field here. Uh, I'm not sure how many poplars we're going to need, so we're just going to make sure this field is well planted, and hopefully that will be enough. Uh, it is costing a little bit to uh, plant the field because I just left the hired worker on buy seeds. It's actually not... As bad as I thought it would be, I thought it'd be rather expensive to leave that on, and I was considering turning it off. But actually, not bad, not bad. So, uh, anyway, this episode, since last episode, by the way, I've gone ahead and finished the harvesting, uh, finished planting all the fields except for the ones down in this corner of the map here, uh, 22, 23, 24, and 21. Uh, I want to get corn planted in those fields because my next goal here is to get pigs. So we're going to try to get uh, pigs going here. Uh, again, this is the uh, challenge map between myself and uh, Thomas McConsell here. So again, make sure you go over and uh, check out his channel. See what he's up to over there as far as the uh, challenge goes. Again, got all the uh, the challenges listed down below. And of course, uh, bailing poplars is one of them. So that's the reason we're uh, planting the poplars there. Which uh, reminds me, we do have to uh, discuss with McConsell as to uh, what he exactly wants to do with that. If we're going to stick with the... The, the plan we had mentioned was roughly like 100 bales. I don't know if we're going to stick with that or not, but uh, that was, like I said, the initial plan. Uh, anyway, in order to plant corn here, I am going to need a corn planter, and I've been kind of going back and forth debating which corn planter I want to get. Uh, we, I mean, we got the DB60, which uh, I think is a little big for this map. Not that I wouldn't uh, mind having a you know, DB60. That's a nice size planter. Thought about the, the, the Great Plains here. Um, it is no-till. Almost... Oh, it's actually, uh, yeah, a little bit bigger than the uh, DB60, actually. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper, though, too. That's kind of a nice thing. Except I don't think there's fertilizer on this one. Of course, I've got, like, uh, three or four versions of this mod here. I really need to go through and clean these up. I've got this one here. Uh, directly, yeah, okay. No-till. Uh, I've also got this one that claims to be no-till. And I don't know what the difference here is. And then, of course, there's the in-game one. Oh, and we pointed this out before, everyone, back when I used this planner. It's interesting. If you go to the Great Plains website and look at this cedar, uh, they tote its no-till planting abilities. Does it have no-till in the game? No. Just, I don't know, weird. But anyway, the, the planner I actually thought I was going to go with here, and I'm kind of trying to stick with a little more of a European theme with my uh, mods here. I was debating between the horse and the uh, tempo here. I think we're going to go with the uh, the tempo here. I don't believe I've used this particular seeder before. Uh, it's not too bad on the price tag. It does seed and fertilize. And I figure with corn, we kind of have to plow the field anyway. So if it doesn't no-till, oh well. Not really that big of a deal if you ask me. So let's grab a tractor here. Do I want to grab this tractor? Yeah, I guess that'll work. Actually, is this my? I think this is my biggest tractor. I was planning on getting another plow here as well. Let's uh, stop here a minute. And I was kind of looking in the shop for that as well, plows. Uh, I was considering just going with a John Deere uh, 26, 23, which would be an excellent choice if you ask me. But again, trying to stick with the theme of using some different mods here. Uh, obviously, I've got the chisel plow here. Let's show you. That's more American than anything if you ask me. But hey, it's a great plow. Uh, I've also got the uh, 2720. That's probably a little more American as well. So I was thinking, should we go with a horse joker? This isn't really probably the most uh, realistic of plows. Uh, definitely don't want to go with one of these things. Now we're not going with any uh, silly mold board plows. That's just ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, I mean this... Yeah, the horse joker, 260. We could probably pull that. 12.2 meters. That's pretty reasonable. And with the other option, like I said... We just go with the John Deere 2623 disc. What's the price tag difference here, by the way? This takes 400 horsepower. What's the horsepower on this? 260, 12.2 meters. Yeah, I mean, that seems like a pretty good plow to go with. I think let's uh, give it a try here. 
And you know what? I'm actually going to put this tractor on that then, and I'll grab another tractor here to uh, put on the uh, planter. Speaking of tractors, I do want to get another tractor here because I am running out of tractors here again. Uh, with all the work we have going on on this map here at times, it's like, wow, I've got, what do I got, five tractors now? Or do, no, is it four? Got the Massey Ferguson. I've got the uh, 7920. We got the 4955. We got the 4440. Only four tractors? Maybe it's only four tractors. That's definitely why I'm running out of tractors then. So, uh, debating if I want to purchase that right away here or wait till we get the pigs. Uh, obviously, I don't probably have quite enough money to purchase the pigs anymore now that I purchased all this equipment, but I figure there's no sense purchasing pigs if we don't have the, the feed the food to feed them okay so i'm just gonna hire a worker on this that should work hopefully hopefully this tractor will pull it i forget how much horsepower this tractor has here again okay there we go Anyway, uh, speaking of track, er, tr yeah, tractors, uh, you folks can let me know what tractor I should uh, get next. I've been looking at a couple of different tractors here, uh, kind of trying to uh, decide. I was thinking about going with the, uh, the John Deere 8530 here. Uh, this happens to be the American version of it, but can I get dual back dual weights? Interesting. Hair wheels. Oh, my goodness. That's uh, kind of narrow. Kind of narrow with weights. Weights. Yeah, I guess I don't really have a European tire option for this, so we would probably go like duels all the way around or rear duels or something like that. What's the difference here? Oh, weights, right. Wow, that wow, that is a lot of weights on the back of that tractor, everyone. Wow. Uh but yeah, I was thinking about, you know, maybe go like a what do we go? 8230 or something like that. You know, or actually what's this go up to? 8530? Actually, not that much more if we went with the 85. Yeah, that would give us a nice 360 horsepower, wouldn't it? Yeah, we could go up to like an 8530 here, 360 horsepower. That's pretty good. I'm not sure. Oh, yes, max out the weight on the front. Actually, it'd be nice if I actually had the European version here at this point, wouldn't it? Uh, actually, I think I got rid of that one. I replaced it with the American version, so I do probably have it yet. I suppose I could put that one in the game. Uh, the other thing I was looking at was a... Is this under large... I don't remember if it's under large. I also have the 30 series. Uh, we could go with the 84 and the, the old 8,000 series here as well. That might be a good choice. Uh, that gives us 200. Oh, that's only at 225 horsepower. Oh, we can bump it up to 235, I guess. Thought that tractor would have more horsepower than that. But uh, yeah, that's actually not that much. Uh, where's the 30 series? Well, wherever the uh, 30 series is here, I consider getting like a 7930. Uh, we could also maybe get like a bigger Massey Ferguson, you know, bump it up to a ooh, 400 horsepower Massey Ferguson 8737. Again, everyone trying to stick with a little bit more European uh, theme here with the equipment. Uh, tractors that, you know, I maybe typically wouldn't use. So that's kind of my idea here. Yes, yes, saving content. Okay, let's uh, apparently... Apparently my uh, 7920 is, uh, doesn't look like the 7920 is in the way. No, the 7920 is not in the way. The game has in fact uh, crashed here. Huh, something with a hired worker and plows just is not working right on this map. I don't know why. Well, anyway, everyone, we'll be back. Let me uh, sort this out here a minute. Okay, everyone, so we're uh, back here, and what I have to do is I can't hire a worker for that. Uh, completely, I forget about that all the time there. Uh, so, yeah, what I need to do is set up course play to plow this field. So, field edge path 21. Uh, let's see, what's there? 12.2. Let's just bump that down to 12. Again, I, I like a little bit overlap myself. And then we'll bump it back up to 12. There we go. Uh, starting location, we'll just do the uh, current location here. And then everything should be good. Yeah, like I said, for some reason, the hired worker on this map, when you hire him, uh, he gets to the opposite end of the field and it crashes the game. 
yeah, don't know why. Haven't taken the time to figure out. Seems like it's just this map, too. Uh, you know what? I probably don't need a headland. Uh, just, so yeah, like I said, seems like it's just this map as well that I've noticed this problem with. So, uh, that generated course. I don't see a course here. Okay, that is odd. What did I do wrong here? Uh, currently loaded? No, I want... Oh, do I have a course load? Ah, that's why. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Back to this. Uh, field 21. Current uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that should be good. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So let's uh, save that here. Field 21, 12 meter plow. That'll be a little bigger than our current 6 meter plow. And first waypoint, please, and drive the course. Wait, did I fertilize this field? Uh, let's see what's here, because... No, I have not. Uh, seeing as how I'm plowing it, I might as well put some uh, fertilizer on here first. Let's uh, get you over here a minute. Now we can start you. Okay, then we're going to need one more tractor here yet to run a planter. Let's see, what do I have left? Again, looking like I need another tractor. This tractor probably will not pull that planter. Uh, John Deere 4440. I've got a... Yeah, there it is. 4955. Oh, you're... Oh, that's right. I need to rehire you two now, don't I? Right. Um, and if I rehire you on this end, you're probably going to go the wrong direction. So why don't I start you on this end of the field? Oh, so I am uh, I'm out of tractors here at this point, aren't I? Hmm. Maybe I'm going to have to buy this tractor this episode. Like he's in about the right spot. I guess he's in about the right spot. Uh, like I said, all this does is he uh, plants kind of the missing rows here, so we get a little bit uh, denser uh, on the poplars on this uh, field here. You know, use up all the available land. Uh, again, maybe not uh, the most realistic that way, but uh, yeah, fills in the gaps, so to speak. Okay, so yes, like I said, I am out of tractors, aren't I? Let's, uh... Hmm, we could do it uh, once, uh, what I've seen done on the multiplayer servers and uh, pull our planter with a combine. Yeah, I think not. Let's, uh, where is that uh, 7930? Let's just take a quick look at that here a minute. They got the 10 series, there's the 20, there's the 30 series. Okay, what is a 7930 going to get me here? Full options, oh boy. Uh, 7930, that's going to be 250 horsepower for $120,000. That's not bad on a price tag. That should definitely uh, pull a planter. What are the full options here do? Warning signs, GPS, terminals, eh, just standard, that should be good. Um, yes, logo, right? Just standard. I don't think we need anything there. Wheels. Let's go with wheel weights. Wide tires with weights. Sure. That seems very uh, European to me. $117,000. Okay, now we got a tractor to pull our planter with as well. And then our next purchase, maybe we'll get that uh, 8530 or something. We'll see once here. Maybe we'll get something different. And I suppose we should uh, fill this up here first. Do I have everything we need for this? I think we do. Seems like it's been a while since I've had to use my uh, refill silos down here. Every now and then I gotta swing by, you know, fertilizer and seed and stuff like that, but not very often. Interesting uh, sound on this uh, tractor. Definitely seems like it's a little different. Okay, I don't know about you folks, but I don't think we're going to make that turn. So let's go with uh, my usual trick here. We had turn into this field here first, which is the field I'm going to start planting, by the way. We're going to start on this field, and then we'll uh, we'll come back to uh, 21 there. I guess we could start there, too, because we shouldn't catch up with a plow. Well, actually, we're about the same width, aren't we? So we might. 12-meter plow, 12-meter planter, so you never know. Okay, and seed. Seed. 
which I'm actually sitting next to the fertilizer silo, right? There we go. Okay. Yeah, that was interesting. And even though we're, like, I would argue closer to the fertilizer silo, it fills up with seed. Interesting. Oh, and, and the cover does open underneath there, by the way. I don't know if you've seen it. But if we tell the cover to open, you can actually see the fertilizer. And I guess the seed, where's... Oh, the seed must go in there then, right? So this is not a central tank on here. There's a fertilizer in the middle. And then the uh, seed must be on each one of the row units, it looks like. I'm not particularly sure if I've ever used this uh, planter before or not. So, again, that, like I was saying, that's kind of why I try some different equipment here for this uh, series. And, okay, no, I forgot to fertilize this field before I plowed it into... Oh, well, we can uh, fertilize it afterwards then. Whoa, should have got the 8530. Should have got the 8530, apparently. Wow. You are going to struggle pulling that up. Well, this is a pretty good hill, I guess, I suppose. Um, unless the Massey Ferguson's any bigger. I don't know if it is or not. This is probably about our biggest tractor here. Um, Massey, no, I've got... That must be the medium... Medium Massey here, then. Which has, oh, okay, the uh, the Massey does have a little bit more horsepower. 280, then. We could try that here if that's going to be a problem. Though I do kind of want to have that on the plow, because, like I said, the plow is probably our largest piece of equipment here at this point for horsepower. At least I would think so, anyway. Okay, so on that note, we got uh, corn being planted, and again, that's for going to be for the uh, pigs there. Uh, I don't know, we might not need all of that corn for the pigs, but definitely uh, the majority of it will go to the pigs. And then at some point, too, we definitely need to uh, get into some serious corn chopping here. So that'll probably, once we get the animals all taken care of. Speaking of animals, how are we looking over here? The chickens are doing their things, I guess, and the horses are doing their things as well. Why are you not clean? Interesting. <laughs> I haven't really ridden these horses that much, so I'm not sure why one of them would be dirty. I guess we got to find that horse here a minute. Uh, ride vanity. Okay. There's Maggie. Okay. Check the rest of the horses here. Two minutes. Yeah, it looks like the rest of them are all clean. Okay, good. I guess I did ride one horse there for like a little bit. So that must have been the horse we rode there. Again, thanks to the hired horse helper mod. That uh, that definitely makes taking care of the horses much easier. And as I've said before, definitely in my opinion makes the horses very, very OP in a way. But anyway, uh, let's see once here. Yeah, we might as well just uh, maybe take over for one of these hired workers here. Seeing as how I'm not really doing anything at the moment. Oh, you're done, aren't you? Okay, well, let's, uh, did you actually finish all this? Now you got a little bit left. Let's, uh, finish that up here ourselves a minute. And we'll, uh, we'll see what's what we got for some, uh, comments here. Uh, of course, tomorrow, by the way, starts my new map, my new single-player map series there. And that is going to be Win Chaser. So for those of you following along on the live streams there, I did a live stream last week. We kind of went around, looked at the map, bought some equipment. We're still probably going to need to buy a lot more equipment yet. Uh, I think I got some property purchased as well. So we're kind of sort of getting started on the map. But uh, yeah, we definitely got a ways to uh, go on there as far as getting set up and stuff. But yeah, for those of you looking forward to that series, like I said, tomorrow's episode will be the first official episode there on Wind Chaser. And I'll probably try to do maybe a live stream or more, or maybe more live streams too, 
but at least another live stream this week on it. So again, stay tuned for that. Uh, like I said, we definitely need to get some more equipment yet, so you folks can offer some input there if you like. Okay, let's see what's here. The rest of these fields... Oh, you know what? Hey, can we fertilize poplars? I think we can, right? Maybe I'm going to do that here first. Of all. I was going to start uh, praying, but uh, let's maybe see if we can fertilize some poplars. I just happened to look at that. I thought I had all the fields taken care of, but field eight, nothing. When I left this tractor running, it's tisk. I think we can just uh, cross here, if I remember correctly. Uh, anyway, let's read a few uh, comments here a moment. Uh, Cowboy was saying, this is the one. Now, next field over. This is what, grass field, right? Yeah, 25. Oh, which again, for the challenges, by the way, we do have to own the entire map. We are not too far away from that at this point, really. The only big piece of property I think we need to buy yet is in the corner there. Uh, what is that? Oh, not that button. Uh, basically field one and that red dot. That's like the big piece of land we gotta buy. That's that's about it. The rest is pretty small and kind of worthless if you ask me, but uh, anyway. Uh, starting this end scenes, how he is still uh, planting yet. A uh, very narrow field here, by the way. If I do this right, I think I can get this all in two passes, which means I will have to wait for him to finish up planting here before I start the next pass. Gonna be good. Yeah, it looks like that's good. Uh, let's see what's there. So, yes, comments. Uh, Cabo was saying Ravenport will be missed. Do a John Deere farm on Wind Chaser. Well, I think we got a pretty good start on John Deere farm on Wind Chaser. Uh, medic. MS was saying it's been a fun series on Ravenport. Yes, it has. Definitely had a good time there on Ravenport. Uh, especially once we kind of got to the center of the map and stuff started getting a little bit bigger. Uh, where we started out, I was like, wow, this is bad. This is terrible. But, uh, yeah, once we got going, that, the map wasn't too bad. Uh, the Case Farmer was saying, is the Ravenport map any good? Eh, it's not bad. It definitely won't probably rank the highest on my list of favorites, but it's not bad. Uh, the Case Farmer was saying, great video. Thank you very much for that. Uh, 13 Dixie Fried was saying, I wonder if uh, Wind Chaser will make it to episode 126. Yeah, I, d I don't think uh, Wind Chaser will make it to uh, episode 126. Yeah, I'm just going to stop here, I guess. Oh, well. Yeah, he needs to uh, keep planting at, uh, was he, three miles an hour? Bloody slow. Or is it three kilometers an hour? Who knows? Uh, oh, it's, it's, wow. It's a blistering four miles per hour. That, the new land speed record. There it is. Oh, my goodness. Land, yes, sir. Oh, well. Let's see. You're plowing. Oh, we'll ride along with you for here if you're, yeah, for a few minutes. Uh, let's see. Jeffrey was saying I added an international pack to your mod list. Uh, which is a reminder there for the mod list. Again, if you're wondering where some of the mods I have came from, check the mod list linked down in the description below. Uh, you can also find information to join the R.D. Allen TeamSpeak server as well, as well as the multiplayer servers and all that uh, good information down below. Uh, George is saying, nice video. Thank you very much for that. Kane was saying, nice video. Keep it up. Thank you very much for that as well. Uh, Scott was saying you should start farming. Looks like you're having a good time. Oh, hey. Always have a good time when you're farming, right? Well, unless something's breaking down, I guess. But, uh, as long as everything's working right, it's always fun. Uh, Killin Fritz was saying on my, uh, chisel plowing with a John Deere 2510. Now, that's the kind of plowing I'd love to see in Farming Simulator 19. Yes, I know, right? How about them graphics, though, eh? How about them graphics? That's, uh, by the way, for those of you, uh, this, this is what happens when you go outside. You know, you open the door. Uh, there's this blinding light that hangs in the sky. Uh, there's amazing graphics out there. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, Cowboy was saying for Wind Chasers, you should get a Peterbilt 379. I think we got a 389, wasn't it? Or no, maybe it was a 388. I forget some. Uh, I forget what it was again. We got a Peterbilt something or other. Uh, also get a John Deere 8R, an S790, or S680 with a grain cart. Probably won't be using much for grain carts because Courseplay doesn't support grain carts. So grain carts are kind of pointless if you ask me. At least at the moment. Uh, Trevor was saying you should fix up that uh, chisel plow when you're pulling with the John Deere 2510. Uh, the thing with the chisel plow that I'm pulling with the 2510, um, it looks like it is a Graham plow, which I did some research on. Uh, I don't think you can really get any parts for them, the best I can tell. So uh, fixing that plow up would probably won't happen. I mean, you could paint it, I suppose, but that's about it. Uh, Mathos was also saying on the uh, John Deere 2510 chisel plan, what? No course play? Also, I would add to Mathos' comment, there's also no GPS. It's terrible. It's terrible. It really is. Uh, Jordan was saying I live in Hardin County, which, yes, Hardin County, Kentucky. That was the map we just finished up on Server 3, by the way, which is a reminder there. I kind of mentioned the uh, multiplayer servers there a moment ago. Uh, we have switched maps on Server 3. Which, again, is the map I kind of typically play on, or the server I typically play on, I should say. So now on a new map there on Server 3, uh, we switch to the Madison County map. So we'll, uh, we'll see once how that map goes there. That is a 4X map, by the way. That is a big map. So we definitely have room for plenty of players on there. Uh, I think we got... Oh, we probably got five or six farms already established on there. So, yeah, if you want to farm on there... Uh, you better join quick, that's for sure. The, the farms went fast on that map, which, again, it's a big map, so we got plenty of room. But, uh, yeah, if anybody else wants to farm, you're probably going to have to join with someone else. Uh, Joe was saying on Ravenport, finally the torture is over. I guess Joe didn't like the Ravenport series or the Ravenport map, I, I take it. I, I believe he did mention that here, oh, uh, probably a few months ago, actually. I think he mentioned that. But uh, as I uh, mentioned back then, too, you know, it's like what map to go to. There's really not, in my opinion, a whole lot of good maps out at this point. Uh, a lot of the maps that are out are still, like, work in progress. So maps are kind of, like, slow and coming out here for 19, it seems like. Uh, there's definitely some good maps coming out. It's just uh, they're taking their time. They're slow. You know, Autumn Oaks is out. Kind of already played on that map. But uh, they have changed that one up, so we might uh, we might do that one again in the future. That was definitely one of my all-time favorites back in Farming Simulator 17. Oh, let's see what's here. How's everything else going over here? You're still uh, working on planting yet? Excellent. Yeah, he's not doing too bad of a job on this field here. And how is the uh, poplar looking here? Looks like he's got maybe one more row after this one. So we're almost done planting this field here. Actually didn't go uh, too badly. I'll pretty much just throw the hired worker on him. Let him go. Really not much uh, to it. So yeah, all the rest of these fields here should be uh, taken care of. Uh, we might at some point, uh, once we're done with the poplars on this field, we'll probably purchase field 7 and uh, plow them all together. I don't think there's anything down at that. Yeah, no, we can plow this into one big field here. That's probably what we'll do with it. Definitely be a little more of a course play field at that point, but it is what it is. Uh, as far as 11, 12, and 13 here, you know, I keep looking at this like, wow, that'd be perfect. But there is a, is it a hedge, a fence? Uh, there's a hedge or a fence between all three of these fields. It's like bloody awful, bloody awful. Anyway, that's, uh, looks like, yeah, it's about time to wrap it up here for this uh, episode. So again, if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. Don't forget to check out uh, Thomas's McConsol's channel as well to see how far behind he is on his part of the uh, challenge here. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching, and until next time.